Hey everyone, Ben Runno here, and welcome to my channel. Here at my channel, we do tech reviews, let's plays, and cover news stories. And today what we're going to be doing is reviewing the AKG Y100. Let's start with an unboxing. Now, the presentation here is really nice. The materials used are very good, like transparent plastics, soft touch cardboard, and while unboxing it, it really just helps build the excitement for what's to come. Included in the box is the micro USB cable for charging it, as well as your usual books and instructions, which I probably should have read, but we'll get to that later. It also comes with this really nice carrying case, which has a self-retractable cover, and it feels like it's made out of really high quality leather. And of course, you do have the headphones themselves, which do have a really thick section of cord, which does make them look and feel more like neck band headphones like the lg tones or something like that and here you do have the charging port hidden under this little flap and besides that these headphones do have a really nice feel they do feel premium because on the outside of the actual earbuds themselves they are coated in aluminum which is a nice touch all right and as usual with my reviews we're going to start off with the negatives now the sound isolation for these if I were to grade on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 5. You can still hear things going on around you, but they're just a bit muffled. Part of that is inherent to the form factor, since these are in-ear buds as opposed to over-the-ear headphones. So generally, you're not going to get much better than that with in-ear buds. And the other thing that is sort of negative about this is the battery life is just okay at 8 hours, which means I can take it to the gym about 8 to 12 times before I have to charge it. Now, some of AKG's other headphones, like the Y50BT, which I reviewed previously, can last a month to a month and a half on a charge, and that's definitely ideal. Now on to some of the good stuff. The first thing is the weight and the comfort. Now, when you see headphones like these with the cord and the knot for holding the headphones and the battery, you assume they're going to be really heavy and uncomfortable on your ears, but these are really anything but. In total, they weigh less than an ounce, and you can practically forget that you have them on especially if you use the magnets to hang them around your neck when not using them. And the actual earbuds themselves are very comfortable. I could wear them for up to an hour before they became at all uncomfortable while I was using them. Secondly, let's talk about sound quality. Now, these are rated at 16 ohms, and they have a frequency response range from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Now, what does that mean? Generally, with headphones, a higher impedance is a good thing. The best headphones I ever listened to were 64 ohm studio monitors, and 16 ohms is generally a lot more than you get in consumer grade headphones. Also, I wanted to mention that the driver size is 9.2 millimeters, which is about double what you get in most lower end headphones like this. And what that means is that it can really stretch down to that 20 hertz low frequency well, which is where the bass is best. And I'm really impressed with what these can do with the bass given their size and form factor. And third, I want to talk about the call quality. These headphones actually feature a three microphone array, which is really good for keeping out unwanted background noise and also keeping your voice clear. And while I was doing the testing on this with my brother, he actually mentioned that he forgot I was even using a wireless headset to talk to him, which is really high marks. And fourth, what I wanted to do is talk about one of the more unique features of these headphones called Ambient Aware. There's a dedicated button for using this on the side of the headphones, and what it does is it uses the microphones in the headphones to pipe in sound from your surroundings so that you can hear as if you didn't have headphones on. And this is really convenient for if you're using uh, it while biking and you need to hear traffic or something like that. And to be honest, it makes you feel like you have a spidey sense. It's really cool. And lastly, I just wanted to talk about some odds and ends now. The case that these headphones come in, I feel like it could have been a little bit taller because usually it's hard to get the entire headphones in there without a little something jutting out. And besides that, the controls on the actual headphones themselves are really nice. They're really distinct, so you can tell what is what, and you can even use it to activate Siri. All right, and that's gonna wrap up this review. Now, if I'm gonna assign a numerical score to these headphones, I'd give them a seven and a half out of 10. I definitely recommend these if you're looking for these type of headphones. They're one of the nicer ones you can get, and they have great sound quality, good build quality, and that awesome ambient aware feature. If you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.